Good morning, LC people. I come up here Saturday morning. It is. I was here at uh, twenty to seven. Uh, the bike courier wanted to be here for seven to all past. So the bike that sat there, the Mars Bars one, same colour as uh, Steve's gay bike. The Mars Bar one's now gone. Um, the guy will have it back by mid morning. So I put the blue on here. Steve's finished it. He's detailed it, polished it, cleaned it all up, whatever's. So I'm going to put that cover back over it, the bed sheet to keep the dust off of it. So that'll be going in a couple of weeks. My bike, two weeks, I'll have my engine back. Watch this space because I'm really going to be looking forward to doing that. It'll be like Christmas Day for me. Uh, <laughs> the only thing I can really say about that is, for some kids in the 70s, they woke up Christmas morning to a brand new rally chopper. Dave had his action man set and he was happy to play with the boxes. But now, <laughs> I've stepped up to the big time. I've actually got my own rally chopper. Or the 80s version. Or even the 2021 version. So yeah, I'll be putting the engine in and I'll be happy as a pig in poo. So watch this space about that. Right then. I'm waiting for my jab this morning. So I'm thinking, the guys come at 7 o'clock. I've got a few hours for my jab. So I come on the bike, put it back on the bench, drop the engine in it, fully happy about that. The motor's in, so that's really good. I want to give you a bit of a heads up about that. Obviously not done any more to the wiring as yet, but I just wanted that to, in there. So all the stuff that was lying about on the floor and in boxes, could go on the bench where the engine sat. So it's all in, my Mutz and Nuts Power Dynamo. No headlight in there and some footrest rubbers. No horns in the boxes, bracket, a few bits. So, right then. I bought these set of clocks off a guy up north a little while ago. I think his father had passed and he ran a motorcycle shop. So he was, he was getting through his dad's squirrel possessions. I bought these clocks and it was on Facebook Marketplace for... I think we got a price down for 180 quid. Now, the very honest, the very original. Now, because this bike's getting restored, that mile an hour speedo there is going to be zeroed, because that's what we do with restored bikes in this shop. So when the first MOT'd, it doesn't have any past history of the mileage. So that's what we do. That bracket's horrible. As you can see, they've not been apart for a very long time. So my mission for Monday is to strip, fettle those clocks, check out all the lighting problems, if there is any, put the brand new covers on. I found this plate. Um, we did have some, but I think Steve must have took them or sold them, I don't know. Um, so anyway, that will be my job for Monday, to sort the clocks out. Um, I'll be happy to do that. I've got the switch gear to rebuild. Um, as I said in previous videos, that we have all the switch gear done, strip out all the alternate, all the blah, 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 internals, and uh, have the bits powder coated. And they look very nice when they're done. So yeah, I've got a few bits and pieces. I'm just trying to diversify a little bit to keep it interesting for myself, rather than just do one thing or other. Uh, I was happy I didn't have to spend too much time on the loom. That's uh, that's good for me. Good for Dilly Dilly Dave. So yeah, plastics to find out, bits and pieces to put on. It's getting exciting. It is getting exciting. When I drop a motor in, I know that really we're getting somewhere. It's normally one of the last things to do, but there's no major set process to doing these bikes. You start off, obviously, with putting the centre stand on the frame. And then, obviously, you'll put in the back swing arm. In the mud guard first, swing arm, shock. Wheel, rest of the bits, front yoke, obviously forks, wheel, handlebars, and that, that that's your start of your process, then everything else sort of clicks into place. Uh, anyway, folks, I'll keep you posted on Monday about some more progress. I've probably got about half hour before I have to go and uh, bite my nose waiting for my jab, ticking the time down. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Dilly dilly!